Hello friends, this is Nirmal here for Technique and in this video we will share 5 reasons why we feel the Oppo F3 is not really a great device to buy at the price of 20,000 rupees. So if you are looking for a really great selfie experience, the Oppo F3 is definitely one of the good devices in the price segment because it has a dual 16 and 8 megapixel camera. But selfies aside, if you are not really looking for the selfie focused smartphone and if you are looking for a good all round device at a 20,000 price point, the Oppo F3 does not make really great sense and we will uh, list out the 5 reasons why we feel so. So let's get started. The first reason, the MediaTek MT6750T chipset. So when MediaTek announced the MT6750T chipset last year, it is intended for budget uh, devices, not, if, uh, not for a device in the 20k price point. And the MediaTek MT6750T is an octa-core chipset with uh, uh, Cortex-A53 uh, clocked at 1.5 GHz. And this is coupled with 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. While you might find the 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage really good at this price segment, but the MediaTek MT6750T is a budget chipset so not really intended for a 20k price point device so that's reason number one now second reason is again the gaming performance of this device with the mediatek mt6750t and the full hd display the software is not really optimized for gaming and as a result you could see a lot of lag in the gaming experience of this device we already uploaded a gaming performance test of this device and found this gaming experience to be really poor uh, in the uh, for a phone in the 20,000 price segment. So if you're looking for a good gaming experience because 20,000 phone uh, is definitely good for gaming. Uh, so that's if that is your criteria, then definitely we wouldn't suggest the Oppo F3 because the gaming experience was not that great. Now reason number three is again uh, uh, related to the gaming performance. When we tested the gaming performance, we found that uh, the device did have some heating issues and it was close to 44 degrees after intensive gaming. So uh, the temperature as such is not really great, uh, I mean very high for a gaming device, but then uh, the overall gaming quality and the heating experience was not that great. So uh, if you're looking for uh, a device with great gaming experience, the Oppo F3 is definitely not a device to buy. So that's reason number three. Now reason number four for not uh, buying the Oppo F3 is a software. So for a phone uh, price 20,000 and released in 2017, we would have expected the device to come with Android 7.0. So, but if this device comes with Android 6.0 Marshmallow, that's kind of outdated version. Almost a year old uh, uh, OS uh, is being shipped with this device. So that's one of the biggest dis disadvantages with this device. You can see Android 6.0 Marshmallow is the version and uh, that's kind of disappointing. And we're not really sure whether this device will get uh, the Android 7.0 update uh, so that's again another disappointing aspect so that's reason number four now the reason number five is the pricing while uh, you might find uh, the 20,000 pricing quite good uh, for this device because it has dual cameras a full HD display decent uh, um, uh, battery and um, a decent hardware but then uh, considering the MediaTek chipset uh, it is being bundled with we would say the pricing is definitely on the higher side because we have Moto G5 plus the Lenovo P2 with much better hardware pricing price uh, below uh, the Oppo F3 and uh, while uh, those devices does not have a really great selfie camera this device is suited only for camera that's a selfie camera other than that this does not make really great sense to buy this device at 20,000 price point because uh, the hardware on this device is not that great for the pricing so these were the five reasons why we feel the oppo f3 does not make a really great device to buy so if you're looking for selfie experience definitely this is a good device to buy we would again say that the, the selfie experience on the oppo f3 is really good but other than that the oppo f3 does not really make sense to price uh, at 19999 because the hardware is not really that great so that was the five reasons uh, to not choose the oppo f3 Hope this video was useful in deciding to buy this device. Uh, if you like this video, do hit the like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.